What if I told you that you could take a photo just like this without any furniture in it and virtually stage it to look just like this? And it doesn't take any creative genius to do it. Even a real estate agent could do it. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go onto a website called visualstager.com. Visualstager.com is where you're going to upload your photo and that's where we're going to do all the editing. What that means is you do not need a high-end computer. You do not need a technological advanced degree from MIT to do this thing. It is so simple. Even a real estate agent could do it. Oh, and that's who I'm actually speaking with. I'm speaking to you, real estate agent. And by the way, I am not messing with you because I am also a real estate agent. I want to show you how easy this is. I used to use Photoshop for many years. I picked this up a little while back and I haven't gone back to it. Or, I mean, I've gone back to this, but I haven't gone back to Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're on visualstager.com. You upload the photo. By the way, there's a little, shows little tokens. It's like Bitcoin. It isn't, but it's uh, money that you put in. So I have $80 left. It is about $10 per photo to edit. Um, it's kind of the the mark. So it's 10 to $11, depending on what you do in it. It's no more than $11 uh, for per edit. So once you've uploaded, it kind of deducts right down here where that is. And so the first thing you want to do is they want you to have this level. So everything straight lines, it already is. And if you use me as a photographer, all my lines are always straight. So I don't have to change anything like that. And we'll go next. And now they want to make sure everything is level. This room's a little bit difficult because the ceiling goes up like this. Um, typically, this is right on. So this is fitting perfectly, but they want to make sure everything is level here. I'm not going to touch this um, in any other room. If it was a regular ceiling and it wasn't uh, vaulted or slanted, um, I would then adjust it just to be precise, but it shows that it is right on right there. So I'm not going to change that. Otherwise, what you do is you just grab it and you move it to fit the space, but we are going to bring it back to where it was. Okay. So the next thing we do is hit finish. And now we're ready. So we're going to edit the scene. We're editing the scene. And I'm going to hit the plus button. And you could do everything at once. You can grab all this furniture if you wanted to. For me, I like to do one thing at a time. So we're going to go to one item at a time. Um, you can go to any room. You can just start selecting. I will tell you some of this furniture is super animated and not the best, but some of it's really good. You kind of have to pick and choose. I feel like the decorative wall art is a hit or miss. It just depends. But all you have to do is kind of get started. All right. So in the living room, it breaks it down into these subcategories. You could pick a bench, a chair, um, coffee table. I'm gonna use this couch instead. So we're going to hit the alt button, left click, we're dragging it and we'll move it right over here. And that looks like a good spot. Add a rug as well. So let's do area rug. You can pick some of these rugs here. This one looks pretty neutral. We'll grab this rug. And I'm going to hold Alt, rotate it, and then I'm going to hold Control and then expand out. Let's put this out here. So when you do stuff on the wall, it obviously does not, it might not be at the height you want either. So first of all, let's turn it around. So we're going to hold Alt and then shift it and maybe you even want it a little smaller, maybe bigger. Um, in order to move it up and down, you're gonna hold the shift button. So shift is up and down, and so you can put it anywhere you want at any height by holding the shift button to go up and down, and then the control to make it big or small. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. So if you go under any room, 
and go to TV, you can pick a TV. I try to find one without a stand because then you can kind of put it on the wall the way you like. And so we'll just add that. We'll bring that TV right over here on top of the, actually fits perfectly, I didn't have to do anything. But if I needed to adjust it, uh, hold the shift and it can go up, down, we can put it wherever we need to. Um, I can make it a little bit bigger. Let's give it a 65 inch look, oh, too big. Okay, there we go. And so there's a TV right there. You can put some more furniture over here, but honestly, that's all you have to do. And then at the end, you just go over here and you would hit download. Uh, there is a watermark that would be right here. They do charge you an extra dollar to take that watermark out. And so I do suggest that just because then you don't have their trademark right there. Um, but yeah, that is about it. All you have to hit is then download and this will download the image. A lot of real estate agents would rather have their own pick and choose of what furniture is put inside of these virtual stages. If this mini tutorial was helpful for you as a real estate agent or a photographer, let me know in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content. Have a great day and until next time, I am Jared with VisibleTour.com.